everybody, Mailman here. I had a great night last night. I had four harvests, one coyote, three hogs. We're going to break it down into the first two harvests on this video because the second two were on a different piece of property. And I want to talk about the tactics on the first property. Starting to see a pattern with my hogs. Coyotes are everywhere right now. you got a lot of young coyotes running around. I went back to a piece of property. It's a large field property. I mean, there are a lot of fields in this area. I generally always see coyotes, but sometimes they're a thousand yards too far to shoot. Got back down into an area where we had a triple before. My son took one off of it, and I put out pup house, pup chatter. That's what I'm starting with now. They located right where last time they were. So I want to move up into that area. There's a few islands of oaks up in that area, and what the hogs are doing now is they're crossing the open fields and getting into those oak tree islands I call them out in the field they're just it's a circle of oak trees out there in the open in the fence the hogs are coming out at night now to get those acorns that have been falling all day and what I did as I'm moving up into the area to call the coyotes I notice a lone boar and there's a coyote beside him in between me and there generally in the past whenever I would see a hog and a coyote I'd totally forget the coyote I'd move in and take the hog on this instance, I'm going to start taking the coyotes a little bit more because this hog does what I kind of predict he's going to do. At the shot, uh, the coyote presents me a, a side shot, drop that coyote right in its tracks. I watch the boar. He goes up, and I don't think he's going to go for him. He doesn't. I go down take some pictures of the coyote, and I move up to another island of oaks, and that boar, I see him up there with my scanner. So I'm moving in. He did not go far, maybe 100, 125 yards to other oaks. He's out there feeding in those oaks and I believe that's a pattern that's starting to develop is they're out there after those oaks in the pasture field that I can hear dropping. As I'm moving up and the time it takes me that boar actually goes back down to the area where the coyote is. That group of oaks. Well in that time period a group of hogs moved into the other oak trees that the hog was on. I just moved in, picked the biggest one out of the group that I thought was and I dropped that hog right there on the spot. So in the first two fields it was a matter of young coyotes are running around everywhere. If you can get out for coyotes, now's the time to get out. It's when you're going to get your easy naive coyote, coyotes. I know everyone's out there deer hunting right now, but coyotes are pretty easy right now to call in. This is the time you want to do it. And then I moved into those island of oak trees. If you have them, or sometimes it's just one big mature oak tree that you hear dropping, that's the area these hogs are going to start keying in again and again. You actually take them off of there. It's almost like a, a bait spot. Take them off of there at 9 one night, come back the next time at midnight, start to take them. They are going to hit that tree. They know those oaks are falling from those trees right now. They want to get to that area. It's just a matter of when will they chance it. They switch up those times sometimes again and again. So t check out these first two harvest I'm using the Thor 4 on this one I really like the last update it's really looking good I'm gonna move to night vision here shortly we're gonna go after deer as soon as football starts I got half of a week left here football will be over going to night vision but we got a couple more videos here with the Thor 4 just to get them last couple in I think we're at 94 this year 93 94 and we're gonna get to our hundred let's get to that good stuff 